I give a lot of credit to uh, Cincinnati, uh, especially in the first half. We were uh, where our offense had been giving us advantages, uh, especially the first option, and it wasn't there tonight. And so maybe a second and third option uh, we didn't get to, or when we did get into one on one, we just we relied too much on our three point perimeter shooting, and that's playing in the Cincinnati's hands. Uh, but they were. They, uh, they were the more, they played hard uh, and played tough, and uh, that's why they got the victory. Mike, what lessons are there in this for your team? That's exactly what I said, JC. I, you, we have to learn from this uh, because we're going to be in this spot again taking a, the next step forward. you got to learn uh, in the Big East if things aren't going well, you don't rely on your jump shot. You have to you have to score in a paint. You have to draw contact. You have to get to the free throw line. Uh, and it's not like we stopped playing hard. We held a tremendous team to 37 percent shooting. Our pressure was effective in the second half. It's just we never finished the possession off in the second half. So playing a little soft in the first half, along with not finishing off in the second half, was a uh, deadly equation. Like I mentioned, it has to be. Most frustrating is when you're playing, you're, you're giving them on defense, you know, 32, 33 second possessions, and then you know you get a rebound and it somehow falls into another guy's hands. Seems like that happens. It's incredibly draining. I mean, to 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 the fans, but as a team that, I, again, there was no fire and brimstone out of me today. It's just you. They really, my team really tried hard. Uh, they just didn't respond the way out of liked in the first half and, and becoming tougher and, and, and uh, relying too much on jump shots. Second half, we just have to finish the possession off. Uh, and we did. We had tremendous. And Cincinnati tweaked what they do. They, they weren't uh, running and jumping. They weren't doubling the first pass. They, they really made it a half-court game. Uh, and we're the ones trying to up-tempo the game. And so uh, I credit Mick and, and, and uh, their staff for, for having a good scouting report. Mike, how much do you need to get Eli Carter going again? Yeah, of course. He's when your your leading scorer has the type of night that he did. Uh, my thing is, he just he he's settling. Okay, when your leading scorer, you are off, and he is. He's got to get to the. He's got to get. Uh, he's got to get to the paint and create whether contact or create opportunities for others, and he's not doing that right now. He's 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 taking too hard of and. Literally, Cincinnati, wherever he was going, they were had two or three guys on him, and now he's got to take it. We have to take advantage of what he can do for us, but now he's got to get off the ball and start creating for some other people. And, and it's hard because he he realizes he needs to score for us, but right now he's taking uh, low percentage shots and not getting fouled, and that's that's a tough equation. Again, it's he's got to do a better job. But but again, sophomore, he'll learn from that, and we're going to do a lot of film study. Is that different from from the other night in the garden, or is that all? Yeah, that a recurring trend. It's a recurring trend, but again, in the garden, uh, they weren't like tonight in Cincinnati. They literally they did a tremendous job in just making them go through two to three people. And uh, when you do that, there's going to be other people open. He's got to start to now trust some of his teammates, and uh, uh, we want him with the ball. We want him creating. Just now, maybe he has to create for others, and uh, we'll work on that more. There's a couple times this year, the team has showed it can take a punch when it has a lead, but kind of the other opposite story when it doesn't have a lead. What does, it, what does the team need to do to be able to play from behind? And finish possessions off. Uh, and again, I just that's basically what I have for you tonight. It's it's We defended uh, as well as we should have and, and created a, uh, a frantic pace and uh, now you just have to rebound and, and finish possession off because I thought in the second half we, we shot you know, 47% in the second half and got to the free throw line and, and made some things happen, but you're not going to win when they have 17 <laughs> offensive rebounds and, and, and 19 second chance points. You're not going to, in a Big East game, you can't give that number up, especially how bad you were in the first half. Like on Thursday, you were saying you wanted to sort of bring down, bring these guys a little bit back down to earth because of, you know, they, they're, they were in a place where they hadn't been before. Sure. Do you feel like because of that, there was a missed opportunity tonight to do something perhaps special? Uh, it's we've never been three and one, and we talked about we talked about it. Uh, whatever motivation we can add, 
you know, somebody who I think it was Kadeem talked about making history. I just said, let's just be 3-1. I don't know about the hit. But, you know, whatever they want, and they were ready. Uh, they just, Cincinnati did a tremendous job uh, in their preparation, and, and now we didn't respond the right way, especially in the first half. The second half, we just didn't, never got off, seemed, never, uh, never rebounded a missed shot. And it just, it, it, it's too much. It's too much against a very good opponent like Cincinnati. Mike, with the offensive rebounds for Cincinnati, was it you guys out of position, their tenacity, aggressiveness for the ball? What was it? A little bit of both. They're bigger and stronger. They're a big and strong team and, and one of the top rebounding teams in the country. And so uh, they're older. They're, they have some physical guards. And uh, uh, we didn't gang rebound like we did at Pitt and, and St. John's. And uh, something we'll work on. And uh, that, that's, that's a want. They wanted it and needed it more than us, and uh, we'll have to learn from it. Two more questions. Uh, there's, I guess, some silver lining that you only had nine turnovers playing. And it's sort of been a bug move for this team. It was. Cincinnati played a little closer to the vest. They didn't trap and all that type of stuff. But no, anytime we have single digits, we've uh, been working on that, uh, on that in practice. Uh, taking care of the ball, valuing the ball. Now we have to tighten up our half-court offense. And now we have to figure out uh, when Eli does have the advantage and, and now he draws two or three people, now he's got to get off the ball because Jerome seems to be coming around. Uh, Kadeem had a good day. Miles Mack had a couple of nice shots. It's just we got to get off the ball and uh, take uh, more higher of a percent of his shot. Mike, you see Kadeem getting more comfortable? I do. He was soft in the first half, and he responded the way I wanted to. Uh, he, again, you're going to get hit in the Big East. And so, you know, uh, shot fading away, and, and, and that stuff doesn't really work here. Uh, and so I thought he did it. He was very conscious of, of attacking the rim and, and, and uh, drawing contact and going through contact. Uh, I think this will be a, a game he'll, he'll build on because uh, we certainly need him.